All right, all right. What is going on, everybody? It is Mark Mac Attack, and welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, we got race number 17 of the season, and we are at Pocono in the Pocono Organics 325. It is a big track, uh, almost a mile, um, or excuse me, almost, I think, two and a half miles long. It's, it's a big track, just like Daytona and Talladega, so uh, the track's very wide, uh, very big, lots of room, so uh, should be a really good race on hand today. Uh, let's do a quick uh, recap on the season standings through 16 races, have a really commanding lead uh, in the point standings. Uh, over Chase Elliott, who is uh, sitting second in points, and actually he and Joy Logano are tied for that second spot. But uh, those are your top three with Kyle Busch in fourth. And you got Brad Keselowski rounding out the top five in points. And if I actually hit the triangle button to uh, switch to the like the playoff standings, it kind of show it kind of shows uh, drivers that like need wins and drivers who need points. It. I didn't realize that was a thing, but I can even scroll down a little bit further. So, uh, yeah, that shows the top 16, at least as of right now, in the point standings. And if I hit triangle to go back to the the actual point standings, it shows kind of the rest of the field. But it's kind of nice. It shows kind of close up uh, of the drivers that are trying to get into the playoffs and how many points they're behind and whatnot. But... Uh, yeah, there are your point standings thus far. Again, those are the top 16 as of right now. Uh, if the playoffs were to start today, those would be the 16 uh, drivers that would be uh, fighting for a championship. But we still got a long ways to go. Still got uh, about six or seven races until the playoffs actually begin. So, but uh, that's something I did want to show you guys. Uh, and as always, uh, here are the settings that we use. Uh, legend difficulty, full damage, 25% race length, times four tire wear and fuel, relax yellows and stages are on as well. And before we get into today's, today's race, I uh, just want to give everybody a quick reminder if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button, uh, subscribe to the channel. Again, we're, like I said before in previous videos, we're really, really, really close to a thousand uh, subscribers to the channel so if you haven't again please just hit the subscribe button also make sure to leave a like on the video uh, if you enjoy today's content and as always guys thank you guys for the, for the continued support on the channel leave a comment as well as what, of what you thought of the video and all is very appreciated so got 32 laps today here at Pocono uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get right into it uh, as always not gonna practice not gonna qualify just gonna go right into the race and uh, get right into the action. Uh, Pocono was a... Uh, I'm trying to remember from last season. I know we ran okay, uh, but we were with a different team, so it's a little bit, uh, you know, new territory for the season. You can't base off of last season because we were with a, a much lesser quality team with Spire Motorsports, weren't as fast and whatnot. So uh, it's going to be definitely different this season, although... I think we ran somewhat decent last season, if I, if I can recall, but uh, it will be interesting to see how uh, we run here today at Pocono. So we're going to go ahead and, again, re get right into it, skip practice and skip qualifying, and we're going to go right into the race, starting from the rear. Got that race goal of fifth position as well, but hopefully we can do just a little bit better than that, hopefully. But we will see how it goes, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into it. All right, here we go. About ready to go green. Head to the restart zone. Green flag is out. And we are underway here at Pocono. All right, it is a pretty short race. Pocono always is a short race. Uh, we've got five laps of stage one, 10 laps of fuel. So pitting will not be uh, something that we do here in the first stage. It's just gonna be a run hard, try to get as many spots as we can. We're actually working the outside here, kind of two and three wide. Oh, I'm getting shoved into the wall a little bit, but oh, getting a little stuck there. We got to get to the bottom here. Sorry, 38, I chalked you off a little bit, but got to get down to the bottom into the third lane. Car is really tight. Got into the 78 a little bit, but no harm, no foul. Everybody keeps pointed in the right direction. Uh, looks like Alex Bowman in the 48 uh, started from the pole, so 
He is leading the field off a of turn four or off a of turn three, excuse me. There is no turn four at Pocono. I remember there's only three turns, but Alex Bowman leads the field uh, after lap one here at Pocono. And we are up to 32nd. We're battling Landon Castle in the 77 to his inside. Have the preferred lane, although I really have to check up for the AI. Going to try to get, squeeze it three wide a little bit. Underneath the 27 and the 42 as well. Had a little bit of front end damage, I think, from when I hit the 77 in the back a little bit. But not affecting the car too bad. Ooh, got a little low there, got in the grass, but able to hold on to it. Now we get a big run on the 31 of Justin Haley. And the seat to his inside. He probably he probably hates us still from the last race at Sonoma. Uh, when we had a early caution on lap one, it was kind of a weird thing. If you haven't checked out that video of Sonoma, make sure to do so as well. It is on the channel. Uh, quite the race, I will just say. I don't want to spoil the ending, but if you haven't checked out Sonoma uh, from the last video, please go do so, because it is... It's just everything in once. I don't know how else to describe it other than everything that could possibly happen in a race, I think happened in that race for us. So just go ahead and check it out if you haven't. As always, appreciate the support. But nonetheless, focusing back here on the race at Pocono, we are moving up through the field actually quite nicely now. Cracked inside the top 25, although now we're gonna, it's going to start getting a little bit tougher because now we're starting to get up some of the faster cars. I did not notice as well. We got a lead change. Oh, the 21 of Harrison Burton, who is a rival, trying to chop our nose off, but we have none of it. All right, looks like a lead change, what I was trying to say. Martin Trex Jr. in the 19 is in the lead as we have two laps to go here in stage number one. Getting a big shove from the 21. Oh boy, I do not want to be down there. That's a little too low. Comes another big push from the 21. He's actually gonna help us here down the straightaway a little bit. I'm actually gonna go up here and get the draft of the 23 of Bubba Wallace. Have a nice big run going into the tunnel turn, a turn two. And that's the thing about this track. Three very distinct, very, three different turns. Just three completely different turns. Uh, that, and that's one of the challenges about this track. It's how do you want your car set up? You kind of have to honestly pick a turn you really want to set your eyes on to really hit well. And then the other two, you're just trying to run as best you can and just try to neutralize the gap if you will and just it all turns are important don't get me wrong you gotta get you gotta nail the whole track down but i think for me i think the most important turn on the track is this one right here i think it's turn one because if you hit it right and, and you really set up your exit you can really get some crazy runs down the down the back stretch here uh, turn two is is important but i think that's probably the least important turn on the track just because Everybody knows you just have to get on the apron here. And just slide it on through there. Turn, coming off turn three is very important well back to the start finish line as well, but uh just, again just three different distinct turns. So Alright, we are on a pretty good roll here. We are up to twelve uh as we are coming to the end of the stage. And that'll do her. Again, a very, very short first stage. We come all the way from 40th to 12th in five laps so the car is really really fast but uh here are your stage one results here from pocono martin shrek jr gets the stage one victory with kyle larson finishing second joey logano third alex bowman fourth and denny hamlin rounds out the top five after stage one a little bit tight uh the car was so i am gonna go ahead and make a few little adjustments Try and loosen this thing up and give us a little bit more speed here. So we are gonna try a couple different things. All right, we're gonna try that there. So we will be restarting P number 12 for the start of stage number two here at Pocono. Here we go, green flag. Okay, Joy Logano is just giving us no room okay i got it anyway stage two is 10 laps long as i deal with him 
Uh, it's really going to be close on fuel as I already got front end damage. God bless it. Hopefully it won't hurt the car too bad, but... Got to get to the bottom here. Got to try and clear Chase Briscoe here before the tunnel turn, and we will do so quite easily. Yes. Let's get down to the bottom here. I did not mean to do that. All right, Joey Logano goes around. That's got to be a caution, I would think. Maybe? Maybe not? Okay, maybe there wasn't a caution. Uh, 22 Logano goes around after we kind of set him. I got tight in the tunnel turn. I tried to force it three wide and hold it on the bottom, but the car just immediately pushed up. So uh, that is on us. But uh, we will move along here. Got a lot of damage front and side. But we will continue to see if we can get back up to that big that front pack there. Let's see if we can get back around Chase Briscoe on the 14 here. Get to his inside. Try not to give him the Logano treatment here. Yeah, we're just really tight. See the car? I can get to the bottom on entry, but it as soon as we get to the center, the car does not want to rotate. So definitely some more adjustments needed on this car for sure, but we are up to 11th place. Still got Martin Truex Jr. in the lead. Um, looks like we're about a lap short on fuel as well. So I would imagine everybody's going to have to pit once uh, this stage. I'd be shocked if anybody made it out right, but, uh, you know, never say never, as they always say. So but we got our sights set next on the top 10, and that is marked by the 18 car of Kyle Busch, so we got a little bit over a second to try and catch up. Bad part is I really don't have the draft. I mean, Chase Briscoe's kind of been helping with some pushes sometimes, but I think we're going to start pulling away from him, so it's going to be all on us to try and catch these guys. And it looks like on the interval we are catching them ever so slightly, not a lot, but just enough to where hopefully in the next lap or two we'll be there. But we got seven laps to go here in stage number two. Again, there's the fuel. It's at six laps, so we are at least a lap short. So uh, we will definitely be pitting for sure, without a doubt. And the thing is, too, we all got to remember the pit pit road does close with two laps to go in the stage. So uh, for the people, and uh, you know, for the drivers that have to pit. Uh, you got to do so before two to go in the stage, so uh, we will actually be pitting here pretty shortly. And I'm thinking a little bit of strategy as well. I think uh, we're going to try and short pit here a little bit. Try and take advantage of those tires because uh, the nice part is we're close enough to the leaders, I think, to where when we pit, uh, we won't go a lap down if a caution were to come out because we're the track is so big, so uh, we shouldn't lose the lap pitting under green. So I think we're going to actually come down pit road this time by, and we will make our pit stop for the stage, and we will be done with that. So uh, bucks, bucks, loose, bucks, bucks, this time by. Come down pit road. We'll take our forward fuel goods. I'm going to make some more adjustments and see how kind of all this shakes out. Hopefully we'll gain some track position by doing this. Definitely won't be a stage win by any means, but if we can get a top 10, maybe even a top 5, I'd be very happy, but minimum, hopefully, a top 10 here. All right. Coming into turn 3. Again, we're pitting this time by. Try and have a nice pit road entry as well. Here we come. I don't know what the pit road entry is. Okay, 55 pit road speed was, excuse me, 55. Got down there quite easily. Actually could have been a little bit more aggressive, but rather be safe than sorry. All right. We'll take one can of fuel, four tires, and some more adjustments. Try to loosen this bad boy up. And we'll see how it all shapes out. Again, we're going to lose a little bit of time repairing the damage, but hopefully we'll make up it. We'll make up that time by short pitting, so. 
That's at least the plan. But... And some drivers might take two tires, might take none. I'm not. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how all of it comes to fruition here. But all right, here we come off a of pit road after making our pit stop. And yet, as you can see, the leaders are now just coming off turn four to the start finish line. So we will definitely stay on the lead lap at least. All right, so we're going to be all by ourselves here for the next lap or two until they pit, I think. I don't think they can make it. Let's see here. Just try and run, just trying to run some good laps. Good lap times here, make up as much time as we possibly can on the guys we were racing around. All right, we're crossing the line here for lap seven to 10, so if they're gonna pit, they're gonna have to pit within the next lap or two. I'm trying to kind of look behind. I don't see anybody pitting yet, so. I have to see, maybe this lap, everybody will try to pit here. Got a new lead change as well. Looks like Kyle Larson uh, is the new leader. Looks like he got around the 19 of Truex, so new leader, and is it is that number five car of Kyle Larson, who I think actually got snubbed last week of a victory uh, with the lap cars last week, so he's looking to have a little bit of a revenge race and hopefully get the victory here at Pocono, but we're going to hopefully try to have something to say about that as well. See a few cars on the bottom left pitting this lap. Some of the back markers, I believe, pitted that lap. We'll see if the leaders come in this time. It looks like they are, all right. Looks like most of the leaders are pitting this time. It actually, it looks like everybody's pitting, honestly. I believe, yeah, everybody looks like they're coming down pit road. So now this is where we can kind of tell, as far as strategy goes, who's kind of the lead dog and who is in here. There are a couple cars trying to stay out and maybe stretch it. See the one where Ross Chastain stayed out. I just don't think they can make it, so I don't know if it's going to help them or not. But Again, we'll have to see. Maybe they saved enough fuel to stretch it or something. You never, you never know what the AIs never put it past them. All right, here come a lot of the cars coming out of the pits here. You can get a little dicey when they're trying to come back on the track. There's a lot of cars right there. There's the 11, Hamlin, and the 43 of Jones. We were not racing around a lot of these guys. I saw Kyle Busch uh, back there at the end of that little pack there, so we were around him as I get walled by the 43 of Eric Jones. We got another rival. And then we get damaged because they just decide to slow down in the middle of the turn. But it looks like the cars that stayed out that last time are pitting this time, so. Everybody should cycle around to the to the lead here. Alright, white flag. This is the final lap of stage of number two. Oh boy, a couple cars are out of fuel and then the caution came out. Gosh darn it, that's not what we wanted to see actually. Wanted to see that thing go green, but that is going to end stage two unfortunately after caution comes out on the last lap. I'm not sure for what or for who, but... Alright, well that's a little interesting. Uh, Kyle Larson nonetheless got the stage victory. Uh, here at Pocono with Austin Cindric finishing second. Got Alex Bowman third, Ty Dillon fourth, and Martin Trey Sheen rounds out the top five with Stenhouse, Casgarola, Denny Hamlin, Eric Jones, and us rounding out the top ten. I don't see a lot of people pitting, but we're going to try to do a little bit of strategy. We're going to pit as well. We're going to give up our track position, but I think fresh tires are going to be a premium here uh, for stage three. So we'll have to see how it shakes out here. Got to try and go from the rear to the front again. Green flag. 
Boy, that was a crappy start from us. I don't know why we didn't go, but... Guys had... AI had a super launch there. All right, looks like we got about 12 laps to go in the race. So it's going to be a one-stopper from everybody. But the thing is, what I'm thinking is, maybe now that we pitted, uh, we can maybe do a little strategy on our final pit stop of the day. Maybe take either none or two tires. Make it a much shorter pit stop for our final pit stop of the day. So that's the goal, at least. We'll see how it, you know, it all shapes out here. But trying to move through the field as quickly as we can here. With two and three wide. Logano was not happy at all. Yep, I don't blame him either. He's trying to wreck us after we completely obliterated him in stage two. But try and get away from him now. Put as many cars between us and him as possible. But we're moving through the field quite quickly. So got a little bit of rear damage in, in the back because of Logano. But actually might help the car out until I did that. Well... Open my mouth, and that's what what happens. And there's not a caution either. Nah, it just killed our race there. Ah, we went around because I tried to make moves, and I got in the apron a little too much. Gosh. I don't know. Lately, it's just been mistake after mistake after mistake. I've just been I've just been costing us races. Honestly, it's. It's not the car, it's not the team, it's the driver. <laughs> the driver has been screwing it up lately. Boy, now we're really going to have to do some strategy to even have a shot at at least a decent finish. Because that killed us for sure there. But we're running 24th. we got 10 laps to go here at Pocono. Man, oh man, just spend this... Just been our luck lately. You know when teams go through ruts during the season? I mean, not even NASCAR, you know, baseball, especially football. Teams just go through ruts. We're going through a rut right now in the series. <laughs> it's just not been, it's just not been our days lately. It just hasn't been it. And again, it's, there's nobody to blame but me. <laughs> it's nobody to blame but the driver because we have cars capable of winning and I seem to just piss it away <laughs> half the time anymore but we're not going to give up though we're going to keep fighting here we'll definitely pass a few of these cars that are a lot slower get around Yaley here in the 55 move back up to 23rd clear him there we go got the 47 leading of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. A lot, of keep, a lot of people call him Ricky Wreckhouse Jr. as he seems to wreck about half the field on a weekly basis, at least, you know, in real life NASCAR, but can't say the same on the game, but he is leading the field, and he's trying to get, I believe, his first race of the season, or his first win of the season, and uh, I believe he's outside of the playoffs as well, so if he can win here, that'd be huge, and that would shake up the playoff standings. Uh, and we wind down towards the playoffs, so it's, it's going to get interesting, although the 5 of Kyle Larson looks like he just got around them for the lead, so might have to hold that thought, but they're kind of battling, so we are going to make a few moves here, get to the inside, pass about three or four cars down the front stretch <laughs> on some of these slower cars that just got up, up here because I spun and Checked up half the field, but oh no, gonna hit the wall almost. Yeah, I scraped it. Didn't hurt us too bad. Oh no, oh no. Here comes Logano. Yeah. Don't wreck me in the tunnel turn, please, Joey. I'm sorry. Just get away. We just gotta get away from him so I don't have to deal with him. <laughs> Because he will wreck us, probably. Yep. Okay. Okay. Got it, Logano. Point taken. Got it. Uh, 
just trying to do whatever I can here, but uh, pit stops are going to be happening though, very quickly, especially for these guys, because we pitted at the end of that stage, so uh, pit stops are going to be happening here very, very quickly, probably within either this lap or next lap, for sure. Try and get around him again, try and get around Logano. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, that's one way to get them away from us. <laughs> Jeez. Just, it's just, uh. Any time you just get around these guys, it's just, <laughs> when they're your rivals, it's just brutal. But, we continue on. I almost spun it again on the apron. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm still sliding. Okay. Oh. Okay, a lot of cars pit at that time, especially towards the back half of the field. Uh, we are going to go one more lap. We're going to go one more lap. Hopefully the pit road will be more clear. I'm going to try to make it the pit road without spitting the car because I'm, like, wrecking loose almost every turn. Uh, I, I would imagine all these cars in front of us now are going to pit this lap, so... And we're going to stay out one more lap, although not all of them pitted, so we actually might be having to deal with a few cars. we got five laps to go here at Pocono. Uh, Strategy-wise, I think we're going to do a two-tire pit stop. Our right rear is really burning up, so I don't think I can make it the rest of the way without blowing the right rear. So I think it's going to be a two-tire stop. Oop, take the fuel we need. And then finish off the race. So I'm going to try and get around Bubba Wallace here before we get around to turn three to make our pit stop here. It was inside. We'll clear him. We've got to run on Haley too. If we can get Haley, that would be excellent as well. And we will. So we're to the lead for the time being until uh, the pit stop cycle around here. But All right, here we come down to pit road. 55 mile an hour, do not speed. Excellent job. One can of fuel, uh, right side tires, and we're not going to repair the damage. I'll tighten the car up a little bit since we have damage and since it's going to be a shorter run. And we're on older tires. Oops, sorry. Wrong way. But, alright, we'll try that out here. Right side's one can. And yeah, should be able to get us to the finish here. Alright. Eight second pit stop, so should make up some track position. Uh, won't be a winning race move, but hey, we just need to get have a decent finish here. All right, here we come off pit road. Looks like a lot of the guys did the same thing too. Seal, we definitely made up some track position for sure, but still outside the top ten. Although I think there's a couple cars that haven't pitted yet either. But the 31 and the 23 definitely did the two tire stop as well because they were came out right behind us, so, and that's where they were going in, so. Let's go ahead and let's bring her home. We got three to go, or we're coming back to three to go, I should say, excuse me. Got Kyle Bush and uh, Kurt Bush, the Bush brothers right in front of us. I don't know if we'll be able to catch them or not, but let's see. Let's go as hard as we can here. All right, looks like the last few cars are on pit road, so should cycle around here. And yep, we are inside, back inside the top 10. Uh, and that's probably gonna be right around where we finish, it looks like, because two cars ahead of us are definitely for a position, but after that, we're, there's no way we're gonna catch any of the other guys in front, so. A uh, race that definitely could have been a lot better for us. Uh, got into it with Joey Logano a lot, but... Uh, you know what? He's done the same thing to a lot of people in years past, so... He shouldn't be one to complain a lot, but... Alright, we've caught Kyle Busch here. We're going to try and get around him here. So it looks like he's struggling on pace a little bit. Sneak to his inside. We're going to be side by side. I'm going to try and side draft a little bit down the front stretch. That worked out 
pretty well. Try it again here. Just want to be to his inside going into turn one here. And there we go. We will complete the pass. All right, up to ninth. Kyle Larson is in the lead. He's trying to get back to the to the start finish line because the next flag will be the white flag, and he does not want to see any other flag besides that. <laughs> he especially does not want to see a yellow flag. So, but no, it looks like a redemption race for Kyle Larson here today. And as he definitely had the fastest car. It looked like from about the start of stage two on, he's been. Uh, about the only car in the lead. 19 was pretty fast and the 47 was fast as well, but it is all Kyle Larson. It is the white flag here at Pocono. One more lap around and through all the chaos again, another race filled with chaos. Uh, we're going to bring home a top 10. Not the goal uh, that we wanted, but you know, you, you never could sniff at a top 10. We'll take those all day long. Uh, not quite the point stable one, but again, you never can sniff for the top 10, so. All right, our fuel light's on, but we should have enough fuel to make it. So I'm not too worried. Got 15% on our left rear, but it'll hold up. And Kyle Larson is coming off of turn three, and he's gonna see the checkered flag. Kyle Larson wins here at Okino. As we come around turn three, not enough time to catch Kurt Busch. It'll be a ninth place result for us in the three car Bass Pro Shop Tracker Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. All right, ninth place today. Here are your race results after Pocono. Again, Kyle Larson with the victory here today. Alex Bowman finished his second. Corey LaJoy with a top three. Good run for him with Spire Motorsports. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. finishes fourth. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. rounds out the top five with Chris Buescher, Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch, uh, us, and Eric Jones rounding out the top ten. Let's go ahead and add the money into our bank account. 218000 added. And here are the point standings after Pocono. Again, we got a nice commanding lead uh, points-wise on Joey Logano, who is sitting second now in points. Got Chase Elliott third. Kyle Bush fourth and Alex Bowman rounds out the top five. Here are the coming your the rest of your top ten and no, more notable drivers. Now you got Larson there in, in seventh with now two victories on the season. And again, we're starting to focus in on that top 16 uh, for the playoffs as the the regular season is round, winding down. So got Kurt Bush there, but Eric Jones and Stenhouse, Cindric, Eric Almarola, they are all. They are just all chopping at the bit to try and get into the playoffs. So obviously have to keep tabs on that, but we will go ahead and we will finish up with the video here. And actually the next video as well will be right back here at Pocono because it is a double header. So uh, next video will be right back here at Pocono for another race. Uh, and that'll be the last of the double headers, I believe. So. Uh, one down, one to go at Pocono, but decent result for us, but definitely could have been better. So, here as we finish up, again, just race race number 17 of the season and race number 18. Again, the second race uh, of the doubleheader at Pocono. It'll be the Pocono 350. And that will be our next video. We're going to go ahead and close out here today. Again, just want to give everybody another reminder if you haven't done so. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button. We're really close to 1,000 subscribers on the channel, I believe. Last I checked, I believe we were at like 987 subscribers. So we only need like 13 more to get to 1,000. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, appreciate the all the love and support as always. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed today's content. Uh, leave a comment uh, as well of what you thought. And as always, thank you guys for the continued support. Uh, it was definitely Joey Logano versus Mark McAttack today at Pocono. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how it carries over into the next race of Pocono, but we're going to go ahead and sign out. This is Mark McAttack uh, signing off. You guys have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend as well. Enjoy all the uh, all the football and, and all the, the racing as well. 
uh, should be interesting. So enjoy your weekend. We'll catch you guys in the next video.